Next, you will provide inputs for boundary conditions, monitors, and post-processing images. You can also decide what data and images should be included in the report. Click Edit Solver Settings to open the Solver Settings dialog box. Note, in the Solver Settings dialog box, you can check the default settings in the various tabs. If required, you can change the settings. Click the Basic Settings tab. The number of crank angle to run is set to 263 degrees. Note, you've entered the IVC and EVO as 570 and 833. You are interested only in the compression and power stroke, so the number of crank angles to run is automatically calculated from these values. Click Browse next to Profile File and select the injection profile file as shown. Note, you will be using this file to set the total flow rate in the Injection Properties dialog box. In the Physics Settings tab, retain the default settings under Combustion Model. Click Injection tab. Select Injection-0 from the list and click Edit to open the Injection Properties dialog box. Select the Injection Options and enter the values as shown. In the Boundary Conditions tab, you can see that no default settings are present. For this tutorial, you will create some wall boundary conditions. Create the wall boundary conditions as shown and note different temperatures are applied to the cylinder head, liner and piston. Once the boundary conditions have been created, close the Create Boundary Conditions dialog box. In the Monitors Definitions tab, you can see that eight volume monitors have been created to monitor mass, volume, temperature, pressure, velocity, and turbulence kinetic energy. In the Initialization tab, initialize the variables as shown. Now, patch values for pressure and temperature as shown. Once the pressure and temperature values are patched, close the Patching Zones dialog box. Click the Post Processing tab. You can see four types of images will be saved during simulation and displayed in a table format in the report. The defaults will be displayed after selecting image name and clicking Edit. You will change the settings so that images are only saved during the periods in which you are interested. Change the settings as shown. Note, Image 3 and Image 4 settings have periods corresponding to the fuel injection period. Once the settings have been edited, click OK to close the Solver Settings dialog box. Now, save the project.